Hello everyone, PDA Phone Junkie here. Today I'm going to show you my Windows Mobile 6.5 ROMs in my new series of clean ROMs. This is the version 1.0. Uh, we're going to keep developing as long as these phones are around, so stay tuned for some great stuff. Um, so I've showed you in the first video Windows Mobile 6.1, which we're going to do them in both 6.1 and 6.5. I like using both. Uh, so here is the 6.5 version, and so these are Manila. This is on the Vogue uh, for the uh, Titan and the Apache. We don't have Manila running right now. I think it's a little bit too much of a memory hog for a device with less than 128 megabytes of RAM. So uh, we, but we do have Manila running on the Vogue. So it's real easy and it's real smooth there to access the different tabs that you may need. So it uh, looks similar home screen wise uh, except for the 26 pixels up here and the 26 pixels down here uh, because we have Manila running so we have everything we need you know we can add contacts here uh, we have our messaging tab for text messaging then our email accounts uh, we, this is just a clean uh, install right here so I don't have any personal data loaded but then we can launch the browser right here okay and then we have uh, the music tab here so it's gonna search my card uh, you know it takes a little bit while because I got a lot of stuff on the first time uh, we can add a weather uh, location we can search for stuff okay, and then we have the settings tab you can access various stuff uh, wallpaper communications whatever uh, over here and we can add programs so we just go down here and we have our list of programs so say we wanted to add uh, the communications manager just hit select and now we can open up our communications manager just right there so this works very nicely uh, to access whatever we need uh, you can access your photos uh, scroll through them really nicely uh, then you can do video I don't have any video loaded again because this is a, just a uh, clean OS install. Uh, anyhow, so that's Manila 2D. Very nice uh, custom interface that you can customize to your liking. Uh, if you click on the start menu now, instead of the old, you know, drop down menu that we've come to use over the previous versions, we get this, which is a little bit better. Um, so we have a lot of stuff here. We have uh, our home, which just takes us back home. But then we have contacts and stuff, so it just launches the app. Um, and then we have uh, our Internet Explorer, and so this comes default with the Internet Explorer browser. And uh, we can move it around real easily, kind of pan between pages like that. And uh, we then have all, uh, first off, we have all of the uh, traditional uh, apps that are part of the Microsoft Windows Mobile base and then we have uh, some extra stuff we have the HTC Audio Manager and uh, again a clean install so there's not a bunch of stuff but uh, for the Verizon uh, ROM because I have these available for different carriers so we have Verizon, Sprint, and Altel, and Cricket and if you need a different carrier let me know and I can make you the ROM uh, with that carriers settings in it uh, for the Verizon one we have wireless sync included just uh, for those of you who may use your phone for business and are needing to use wireless sync so that's there for you guys uh, the other app that I have made a point to put in to all my ROMs is PHM RegEdit uh, that way we can uh, edit the registry simple and I forgot I don't have TouchFlow loaded in on this one. Um, up here at the taskbar is pretty cool. We can access all of our stuff. We can access uh, clocks, other stuff like that, um, which works pretty nicely. And then uh, back to the start menu though, uh, into the settings uh, panel. That looks just a bit different too, but we still have like the old tabs at the bottom and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have uh, the scrolling across all of these menus which is nice so we can easily access them instead of having to use a little tiny scroll bar and uh, the icons some of them have changed a little bit uh, here we have the about tab and then uh, let's go over to the memory though because even with uh, 
a lot of stuff running. Internet Explorer can take up some RAM uh, and stuff, but we still have 62 megabytes free. And if I close everything out, okay, so I'm going to close all of this. Okay, let's see what the memory looks like now. Okay, we have 67 megabytes, so it's only about 3 or 4 megabytes less than Windows Mobile 6.1, and that, that is still plenty. Uh, you won't have too many RAM issues at all uh, with something this good. Now, for the Titan and for the Apache, uh, it's not much different than it's really ever been. Uh, the Titan, I think, has a severe lack of RAM. Uh, that was one thing that I really could not stand about that device when I owned it. Uh, the Apache isn't too bad, um, but the Vogue has got the most out of them, so this is going to run the smoothest. But still, uh, Windows Mobile 6.5, in my opinion, handles RAM very good and uh, is able to run quite smoothly. There, there really isn't too many lags. Um, but, you know, obviously with any electronic device, there will at some points be some lags. Anyways, uh, same old messaging app. So a lot of the apps are the same which is what we want you know we don't want to totally have a device that we've never even seen before um, but we've had a lot of improvements with Windows Mobile 6.5 so here's Windows Mobile 6.5 we are using base 28014 uh, the build and uh, this has been on the Vogue so this is PDA Phone Junkies Clean ROMs and I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to do a soft reset here to show you the little startup menu. You can see me. Okay, so we have my logo there. My Telecaster, favorite type of guitar. And the version 1.0, and that will obviously change as I make uh, new ROMs with new bases or whatever I may have it to improve. Okay, so this is the uh, sh this is the boot splash, and then also the sub splash. So it's a little bit longer, uh, and then this is the uh, startup screen here, and then it's going to go to the right here Windows Mobile version 6.5, and obviously the 6.1 says 6.1. Okay, and I got the backlight set low uh, for the camera right now, so that's why it's it looks darker. I just turned down my backlight all the way. Okay, so then touch flow is going to load right now, Manila 2D. Okay, and we're all loaded up. So we can move around to whatever we need. And it's all ready to go. So uh, go ahead and stop by my new website. I just uh, finally got it up and released yesterday. Uh, it's AaronJosiah.com backslash roms uh, r-o-m-s uh, Aaron Josiah that's a-a-r-o-n-j-o-s-i-a-h dot com backslash roms and you can find all of my guides and tutorials that I've made on PPC Geeks and also all of my previous roms that I've made uh, all posted there arranged in categories uh, if you would like to send a donation if you appreciate my work uh, that's always nice and appreciated. It's never required though. Uh, I will never require it for help or for ROMs or anything. Um, I've had some people donate and I thank them for that. But uh, I'm always happy to help. If you have any questions, send me an email, pdaphonejunkie at gmail.com. I've also got that posted up on the website. And uh, if you'd like a ROM with maybe some different applications in it, uh, feel free to let me know and I'll see what we can work out. Uh, most cabs and stuff, if you want those loaded into the ROM to save memory space, uh, that can be done too. I can add that in uh, and cook that into the ROM just for you, and then I'll upload it, and you can go ahead and flash that to your device. Uh, if you need any help or have any questions, feel free, again, to send me an email, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And for all updates or anything, uh, check out my website, aaronjosiah.com backslash ROMs, and it'll be to the text uh, box at the right of this video. Take care, everyone.